Hey guys, welcome back to Humanor Resource. So today we're doing something a bit different. We are reviewing a reality TV show called Love Island. So Selma is going to do most of the review on this because this is her guilty pleasure reality show. So looking into the season finale, we know the four last contestants are Toby and Chloe, Faye and Teddy, Liam and Millie, and the last but not least, Kaz and Tyler. Now, Uma, my question to you is who do you think were the producer's favorites. Now, who told you I watched this whole show? Come on, now you know you've been sneaking left and right when I was, I was <laughs> watching. Let's go, let's hear it. Okay, so the producer favorites. That's what you're asking me, right? Yes, ma'am. I think, let me, Liam and and Millie. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think it was Liam and Millie. I mean, the reason why, it's because of it all has to do with camera time. They were trying so hard to, to, to fit the narrative that these guys went from you know, the perfect couple to the ones that dropped into shambles and then got rejudged it back and became the perfect couple. I know the producers wanted a perfect storyline, but we all know that Liam did her wrong. How old is Liam? Liam, I think, is wrong. He just stepped right into 21. Okay, and... Basically, he's young and he needs a lot of learning. You're a- I feel like you're asking me the question, will Liam and Millie last outside the villa? Okay, how old is uh, Millie? Millie is creeping in 25 probably soon. Wow, the age gap is crazy. Okay, go ahead. Okay, can you answer the question? What's the question? The question is, do you think Liam and Millie will last outside the villa? Hell no. Okay, your explanation. No, absolutely not. Right. Uh, the reason is, let's be honest, kids. Liam, it took, it took him two seconds to fall in love with another chick in Casa Amor. Fall in love? Yeah, he was in love with some other blonde chick fall in love yeah he he had googly eyes for another girl (laughs) with a short skirt let me be honest okay okay um all right another thing is who else i think was the was the um, producer's favorite i think at the end it became chloe and toby they were cute they were very um spontaneous um i ended up falling in love with them at the end of the uh, the season but to be honest with you before that i was in the boxing ring with toby every single day he done several girls wrong and i'm like what do you guys see in toby he seemed like a kid in a candy shop <laughs> for real well he's never dated before that's what he said that's not an excuse be de- where's your decency like Oof. where's your respect well at the end of the day him and chloe worked it out now do you think they're gonna last outside the villa yes. hell no i whoa hell no he's i say yes t- they're gonna he's last. 21 right it's okay to- and how old is chloe oh I chloe think chloe right well that's a couple I just said Kobe. <laughs> Anyways, I honestly think they're gonna last at the end of the villa. Why? Because I think they both, you know, complement each other. The yin to the yang to the yang. They're I both. I think she's hot. 25 or 26. Okay, they're both hot and they're both. Um, they're both Are they hot, hot at the same time? They're both cold at the same time. They complement each other. Um, they're gonna last. So let's talk about Kaz and Tyler. Oh, Kaz. Can we? I really like that girl so much. And moreover, I loved her connection with Liberty. But Liberty is a whole other conversation. Um, their relationship, I honestly feel like it definitely needs some more time to grow. I think um, personally, it's not love at first sight. It's not attraction at first sight. It was definitely a relationship that was built slowly, slowly, and gradually. Excuse me. Whoa. Excuse me. For her, it was love at first sight. Oh. She was in love with him the minute she She was attracted in. to him. Yeah. That's not love, though. Well, we were talking about attractions a few minutes, a few seconds ago. Yeah, so I think, okay, well, attraction is that one. Um, but I think for Tyler, um, and I think the reason why they didn't win. Because he he, he didn't want to make her her girlfriend. It's the exclusive part that really shot them. On a towel. Oh, wow. And about this girlfriend thing, a lot of the girls, when they hear that, um, can you be my girlfriend thing, they be acting like it was literally marriage on the spot. Ladies, standards are up. Girlfriend is not something major anymore. Yeah, it's not the bachelorette, sweetheart. Yeah, I was surprised several times when I heard that when the guys were like, um, can you be my girlfriend? Every girl did a backflip. I'm like, ladies, please. <laughs> you 
bring there the dresses down. There was tears. Down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Crying. Yeah. Um, but overall, oh, I honestly I feel like um, will Tyler and Kaz last outside the villa? No. And it's going to be on Tyler's end. But I think we both can agree fairly that we really love Kaz. Of course. Kaz is literally the heart of the show. You said it more than I expected. Yeah. And I honestly feel like in terms of success outside the villa, it will definitely be Kaz. Kaz is going to be getting a lot of deals, a lot of sponsorship, a lot of just growth. And, and as an individual, I think a lot of people will follow her success. She was like the most positive person. And for the last couple, it is Faye and Teddy. Uma, I'll leave this one to you since I know you have something to say. Yeah, Faye was a firecracker. She yelled a lot. She said a lot. And she had really big lips. Uh, but for Teddy, on the other hand, hmm, the way he said certain things, though his attitude was fantastic, his smile was everything. Hmm. Mama needs some candy. Oh, okay, Uma. <laughs> um, oh, don't out my name on this okay. thing. Lord. Anyways, I just wanted to share that. Um, I'm just going to get straight to the point. Because I feel like Faye has really a lot of insecurities. And um, she tried several times to address those insecurities and try to let her guard down. And I see it. I see she's trying to grow. Do I feel like she, she challenged those? Yes. Did I feel like she learned some things? No, but I think definitely feel like she was very mature when she acknowledged her fault in certain things and she took the time to After apologize. After three episodes. She took the time to apologize, excuse me. From an argument. Right. But Teddy, on the other hand, I definitely feel like he has issues himself too because there got to be something wrong with you when you love crazy. And and, and not crazy on a negative side. Um, Faye was fun crazy. But in terms of a relationship, that could build up. And when it builds up, it could hurt a relationship. So I feel like Teddy needs to t- definitely Teddy and Faye needs to take the relationship outside the villa, and they're going to go through world challenges. And then there, you will see if they're going to last or not. So my question, Uma, is: Will they last outside the villa? Go. Hell no. Oh wow. No. Okay. Okay. I refuse. Especially is it th- because you like him, or is it because there is there's there's nothing there anymore? Well, it seems to me her previous experience with men are just going to resurface and she's going to use that against her new relationship with Teddy. So hopefully it does work out, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Now to answer this question, how do we feel about the winners being Millie and Liam? I'll go first. Uh, I definitely feel like they were the best option available. Uh, Clearly after hearing what we just said today. I would have wanted to be Kaz and Tyler, but just because Tyler never threw the ball half court or explore his feelings towards <laughs> Kaz, that I think definitely played into effect why they didn't win. And so Millie and Liam, uh, best option. I definitely feel like Millie will watch the whole show again on her own and then kind of cycle back and address certain things because Liam, I felt like he gave her half stories all the time. Cute. So you guys, this is the end of our video. Please share and subscribe and like this video. And leave a comment. I want to know how do you guys feel about the ending result? Do you guys think it should have been Kaz or Chloe or or whatever? Um, Would love to hear what you guys have to say. And uh, take care.